Mingala Bashin. I'm Helen Regan and this is Bullet Points. The Speaker of Parliament's Lower House, Shui Man, has called on the government to take a more considered approach when dealing with the press. He specifically referred to the case of the five Unity journalists who were jailed under the Official Secrets Act. Meanwhile, Special Branch Police questioned four editors of the Rangoon-based Myanmar Herald on Wednesday. It's the latest in a string of investigations into news journals by the police as scrutiny of Burmese media increases. Five refugees were killed in a landslide on Tuesday as heavy rain continues to lash Kachin State. The five died in the Zheyang IDP camp six miles from Liza in Kachin Independence Organization territory. The camp is home to 8,000 people displaced by fighting. Meanwhile, representatives of ethnic armed groups will convene in Liza for ongoing peace negotiations on Thursday. They're due to review and discuss terms and conditions of a nationwide ceasefire draft. More than 100 experts from Burma are attending the International AIDS 2014 conference in Melbourne. Burma is home to over 100,000 people suffering from the disease. But the infection rates have dropped by 25% since 2011 due to greater awareness and access to drugs. Burmese delegates presented their concerns about HIV and AIDS in the country. <laughs> Leaked documents reveal that Hong Kong businessman Jimmy Lai Chi Ying paid $75,000 to the U.S. Deputy Defense Secretary for work in Burma. But it's unclear what services Paul Wolfowitz provided. 900 leaked files show transfers made by Lai to Burmese NGO Mingala Myanmar and divulges his property interests in the country. The leaks include photos and documents detailing two visits Lai made to Burma last year, where he met with both General Ming on Lai and President Thein Sein. More than 200 people from ethnic areas met in Rangoon on Monday to begin drafting an ethnic language curriculum. Representatives from 18 ethnic groups discussed how a tailored ethnic curriculum could be taught. Ideas include moving away from traditional methods of teaching, instead using short stories, poems and pictures to teach younger pupils. The proposed changes are part of a nationwide education reform policy. Until recently, ethnic languages were banned from being taught in schools. That's all from Bullet Points. Find out more at dvb.no. Thanks for watching.